me because you look so fine that I really want to make you mine. I say you look so fine that I really want to make you mine. Well, four, five, six, come on and get your kicks. Now you don't need the money when you look like that, do you, honey? Hello and welcome to the Monarch Football Show. I'm your host, Billy Tenney. And joined as always is Coach Goss. The Monarchs are coming off of a big win last Saturday against the North Carolina Wesley in Battling Bishops. They won the game 31 to 28, thanks in large part to a last second touchdown by Monty Deers, a 13 yard reception with 29 seconds left. Really got the homecoming crowd going and uh, was a great win for the program. Coach, what can a win that is so down to the wire in front of a big crowd like that, what can that do for the morale of your team? Well, I think that, you know, th this win, you know, showed us that, you know, put us over the top. You know, we've been in a couple of close games. And we didn't think that. It seemed like, you know, every time we were going into the fourth quarter, we got down and we didn't finish on top. You know, adversity had struck. Um, I think this was the game that was a turning point, you know, gave our team the confidence to show that, you know, we can go and win this game in the fourth quarter. And I think we, we did a good job of that. And I, I couldn't be happier because, you know, in front of the homecoming crowd, a lot of alumni, unbelievable game day atmosphere so you know it, it was great for the kids and you know well deserved for everybody that worked hard that week and coach offensively you were helped in large part by uh, junior running back Amonte Deers ran for 113 yards also had that touchdown last three games for the Monarchs he's ran for over 100 yards what have you seen so far from him how have you been impressed with this play well I think his uh, his field vision is starting to come on you know he's a, he's a real punishing running back and he's done a good job of starting to you know, come into his own within the system. Um, you know, there's a lot of guys that, you know, are starting to click offensively, and I think it's starting to show up on the field. But, you know, we're looking for consistency for the, for the rest of the run of the season. And defensively, the Monarchs did pretty well on Saturday, forcing four turnovers and having four sacks. What did you see from the defensive side of the ball as a positive that we can carry on through next week? Well, you know, I think we saw the windows of opportunity to attack them at certain points in the game. And, you know, we started to dictate, you know, what they were doing. We took away their top stuff. And when you do that, you know, you start to, you know, create turnovers. And, you know, I think that the, the defense was ready to play. And, you know, it showed. And we held in there when we needed to. You know, we, we cut it off. We closed late in the fourth quarter. But, you know, we ended up pulling it out. And, you know, again, it's, uh, they're starting to come into themselves as well. And, Coach, uh, one of the big things about our home, home football games is our 12th man, incorporation of the 12th man, recognition of him before the game. Who was our 12th man for the homecoming weekend? Uh, this week it was uh, Dr. Del Crisp, who's you know one of the deans here, and he's uh, you know very influential at the university. You know, him himself and his grandson came out, and they you know had a chance to an opportunity to coach and talk to the team and do all of that. And I think it was a great experience to you know see two sides. One for you know Coach Crisp to see the football side of it. You know, he's over on the academic side and does an unbelievable job at the university as far as leading, you know, so many people. And now he gets a chance to cross over to the football side. And I think it gives our football players a chance to see, you know, that someone from the academic side is, is a tr not a true fan. And, you know, Dr. Crisp, I mean, he's, he's into it. And so, you know, it was a great day overall. I couldn't be happier that we went and got that win for Dr. Crisp and Coach Crisp now and his grandson. It was a great day and, you know, I just couldn't be happier. Yeah, absolutely, Coach. It was a great win, great homecoming win, and good for the program. Thank you, Dr. Chris, for all you do for the university and all you do for the Methodist football players. This Saturday to face the Huntington College Hawks, who sit atop the USA South Conference standings. They're 3-0 in the conference. Their offense coming in averaging 44 points a game in conference play. What do you expect to see out of that offense, and what will you do to game plan for that good offense? Well, I expect, you know, first thing, I expect the Huntington Hawks to expect to run 44 points of offense. And so, you know, obviously we've got to tighten up defensively and, you know, figure out how they're going to attack our defense and, you know, play, to, play the cards in our favor, you know. And then offensively, obviously we have to attack, you know, some of the, some of the easier points of their defense and, you know, to find the weaknesses. And I think that we'll do a pretty good job at being able to locate that. Now there's an execution factor that goes into it as well. Um, going into Huntington is probably one of the hardest places to play in the conference. So, you know, we're, our backs are against the wall. Two years ago, we went up there and, you know, it's a hostile environment, real exciting game day atmosphere. And, you know, Coach Turk and the rest of the staff does a really good job. Um, but offensively and defensively, you know, we're, we're expecting to play a good four quarter game and, you know, we'll see how the end result is. We'll be prepared. And the Monarchs coming off of their first conference win on Saturday. Where would a win against the Huntington College Hawks put the uh, the Monarchs 
as far as their place in the standing, what would that do for us? Well, I think a, a win, you know, this win would be very important that I think it throws a wrench in the whole USA South Conference and the fact that, you know, Maryville sitting at one loss, you know, Huntington doesn't have any losses, but, you know, they still have to play Maryville. And, you know, there's a whole lot of teams out there with two losses. It's, it's another typical USA South Conference run, and, you know, it's going to be interesting to see how it unfolds. But, you know, right now Huntington's got the big, uh, the, the big mark on their chest, and justifiably so, they're a real good football team. Yeah, absolutely. Can't wait. Coach, thank you for that insight leading into this game against uh, Huntington, and thank you, as always, for being on the show. Remember, if you can't catch the game down in Alabama, check out mumonarchs.com to live stream the game at 2 p.m. on Saturday afternoon. For the Monarch Football Show, I'm Billy Tenney. Hey,